In this video, we'll be talking about the midpoint formula. Find the midpoint M of the line segment joining A equals negative 2, 1, and B having the coordinates 5, 3. Let's first plot these two points on the coordinate plane. So we have A at the coordinates negative 2, 1, right here. This is A. And point B at the coordinates 5, 3. 5, 3. There we are, and we can draw a line segment to connect those two. There we go, it's just a, a sketch there. There's our line segment. The midpoint is halfway from A to B. So somewhere in this area, halfway. Okay, let's find that. Well, the formula, the midpoint formula is M has the coordinates of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. That's the x-coordinate of the midpoint. And the y-coordinate of the midpoint would be y, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. Now, what do those mean? Of course, you could just find this formula in a book. So you didn't come here just to see the formula. Let's see how it works. You've got x sub 1 is the negative 2, x sub 1, and x sub 2 is the 5. And then it, it follows logically that y sub 1 would be this 1, y sub 1, and, and y sub 2 would be 3. So those are the values that we're talking about when we talk about x sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 1 and y sub 2. These numbers here, these subscripts, have no numerical or, or operational value. They're, they're just the ways to tell you it, whether it's the first y or the second y, or the first x or the second x. Okay, let's use this. We'll just plug the numbers in and then I'll talk a little bit more about what we're actually doing by finding the midpoint, by using this midpoint formula. So just plugging this stuff in then, m has the coordinates of, again, we're adding negative 2 plus 5, and then divided by 2, because we're using this, this x sub 1 and then x sub 2. And the y coordinates, 1 plus 3 divided by 2. And we work that out. And negative 2 plus 5 is 3, divided by 2 is 3 halves. Or I'm going to write this as a, a decimal, 1.5. And the y-coordinate, 1 plus 3 is 4, over 2 is just 2. So our coordinates are 1.52. So 1.52, right here. Here's our midpoint. And it looked like the middle on our sketch over there, and, and then numerically, or algebraically, we found that to be the midpoint, the coordinates of the midpoint. Now, what I promised you is that I'd talk about what this is actually doing. We are just taking the average, the average of, of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates. So this formula here is finding the average. That's adding two numbers and dividing by two, dividing by the number of numbers. And that's why uh, that works. And it makes sense that we're finding the average distance because take a look at this. What if we had uh, this line, this line segment, I should say, from here to oh, here? Well, you can very easily see the middle there. The middle of that line segment is right here. And if you look at the x-coordinates, just the x-coordinates now, because the y-coordinates are not changing, well, the x-coordinates go from negative 2 to positive 2, and the average of those two numbers is 0. So that's why we end up right there. And if we were to, to take the average of the y-coordinates in this line segment, right here. Let's make these points a little bigger so you can see them. Well, the average of those y-coordinates here, this y-coordinate is 0, and this y-coordinate is negative 4, and the average of those two numbers is negative 2. So we have a y-coordinate 
midpoint of negative 2. Now, you, you can absolutely put this together when you have uh, changing coordinates in x and y. Now, if you're, if you're wondering, hey, does the midpoint formula work on these examples that I have, just the pure horizontal and the pure vertical line? Yeah, absolutely it does. Uh, if, the, if the coordinates don't change, for example, on this one, the coordinates don't change on the y, the y value coordinates don't change, so we have uh, ne uh, negative 4 and we have 2, negative 4. Well, if you took the average of negative 4 and negative 4, well, you're going to end up with the same thing. So the average of the same number is just that number again. So, so the y-coordinate just ends up back by itself. So that's a little bit about using the midpoint formula. And, and what I really like to um, uh, tell people on using the midpoint formula is if you want to memorize it, absolutely. If, you, if you're good at memorizing, do it. Do it. Memorize formulas. I think it's more powerful, and you will, and you will uh, understand this much later in life after the test or so if you understand that it's just the average of the x values and the average of the y values to find the middle and that, and that makes sense logically as well i hope that helped